What's up everybody? It is a Blue Drake and today we're going to be doing the final conclusive video on Ghost Recon Wildlands. The game is now out for everyone. There has been multiple open beta events, so even if you haven't purchased the game, you've been able to experience it. Um which is fantastic. I am very happy that Ubisoft does that for everyone, so not everybody has to rely on my word. They can just experience it for themselves. Um, and it has been a long time coming. A lot of opinions, a lot of predictions of what this game is going to be, but now I finally get to make a video which uh, conclusively says how I feel about this game, uh, and hopefully we'll talk about how you should feel about it as well. So, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, let me start by saying this video is not sponsored. I don't accept money from Ubisoft. Um, I do really enjoy having the opportunity to have uh, coverage of this game before it releases. Um, and Ubisoft is very, very accommodating in terms of that. So, even when I make videos tearing apart their other games, they have always been incredibly um, open to, to criticism and letting me cover their game. So I, I hope everybody takes that into consideration because I, I try to I try to hammer that point home, and I hope you guys understand. Like as of yet, I, I think you know I have not lied to you. I have I have not lied to you. I've not been incentivized to lie to you. I have not been paid off to lie to you, and. I think Ghost Recon Wildlands was one of those really controversial games where everybody was like, oh man, is Blue Drake finally getting paid off to say these things? I haven't been. And I, I hope that this coming out and you playing it has, has finally, um, is, is, is a little bit more proof of that. So, let's talk about the game. Ghost Recon Wildlands. Again, I received a lot of controversy for supporting this game. And I think one of the reasons for that was because everybody is waiting for Ubisoft to fuck up. <laughs> Siege was such an incredible game. Division was okay, but it wasn't a disaster. And I think everybody's just waiting for a disaster game to come out. And everybody thought that since Ghost Recon Wildlands had a lot of hype, it was going to be the one. Like, there's got to be a No Man's Sky just around the, the corner. And, and everybody thought that Ghost Recon was going to be it. Uh, and I have to tell you, it's, it's not. And I, I think everybody can agree. No, it, it's not. I was also on the same page. I was like, man, maybe this is going to be the one where they totally screw it up. Because it's Ghost Recon, and we've got a lot of hype for Ghost Recon, and it's not this one. Ghost Recon Wildlands isn't an amazing game. It isn't a bad game. It is a thoroughly decent game. And a lot of people say, oh man, you know, it's just like Grand Theft Auto, it's just copy and paste. It's not really even that either. Don't get me wrong. There are a lot of elements from Grand Theft Auto in, in terms of the open world. There's a lot of elements even from Far Cry. But with that said, it still is its own animal. And it's its own animal in a real good way. It does feel tactical and strategic on naturally higher game modes. Um, well, I even take it further and I don't even upgrade any of my skills because I enjoy the challenge. Um, but even with that said, the hardest difficulty modes are sufficiently challenging. And while the game is not particularly fun in single player, in fact, I, I hate having the AI follow me around all the time. I wish there was a way to turn them off. Uh, Co-op is where this game really shines. And it's what this game was meant to be. It, it, it is a co-op game. Now, uh, that is not to say that this game is bug-free. That is not to say that this game is game of the year. But I don't think it should be game of the year. I don't think it's meant to be game of the year. Um, this is one of the games that, and I was even talking about this with uh, the guy I was playing with last night. This is the kind of game where, is it kind of repetitive? Yes, it, it, but it's supposed to be. This is the kind of game where you just log in and you go and you blow shit up and you raid a base or you do something just simple and fun for a couple hours and then you get off that's it. it it's not mass effect it is not you know like a, a walking dead like storyline driven game it is not it is a game where you get in and you have 
uh, a couple of objectives that are simple but have large complex complex bases for you to raid and you get to do it with friends which in my opinion is exactly what I wanted because I played Far Cry 3, Far Cry 4 and I never played the storylines in those games. Like I, I did not care. I just I all I wanted to do was raid bases and I can tell you right now I would have played Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 a lot more if I could have raided bases and just gone around that open world uh, with friends. And especially when, you, when you're able to interact with the world and everybody has special abilities that they can bring to the table, like uh, spawning in, um, spawning in uh, friendly soldiers to come help you assault a base or uh, getting a sniper rifle and being able to drastically change the way that you approach an objective. Like all of these things are really good gameplay mechanics. Um, the weapon customization is satisfying and meaningful. Um, the weapons all aren't terribly diverse. I mean, if depend if you have an SMG versus a different SMG, like you're still going to be able to sufficiently kill people. In fact, the scopes is what matters the most to me. Um, but with that said, it, it still feels fun, and it still feels like I mean, there there are weapons out there. You'll see whenever I play this game, where I'm like, oh my god, I really need to get this gun because I'm really good with that gun, and it has like the right scope and it has like the right attachments. I really want that. So it, it's not like the division where the division was just a bunch of random you know, numbers game attachments that you just throw on your gun, um, which isn't fun to me. I mean, I wasn't a fan of the division. I I, I think I everybody was very aware of this. I, I, if, if you want, in fact, I'm happy the division exists because the fact that the division exists proves that, yeah, there are games that Ubisoft releases that I can't stand. The division being one of them. Um, but Ghost Recon is nothing like that. Ghost Recon, it, it feels realistic. It feels tactical. Granted, if you have it on lower difficulty settings, you can just run and gun and just blow the shit out of everything. But some people, maybe that's just what some people like to do. And since it's a co-op game, um, that is a primarily a co-op game. It actually does have PvP. But since it is that, um, it, it's up to you on what you want the experience to be. So, uh, final thoughts. Ghost Recon, I think, is definitely a game that is worth purchasing. Is it worth purchasing at the full price of $60? Eh, it depends on how much you really enjoy co-op. If you're the kind of person who doesn't really play video games all the time and you just have a couple of buddies that you just want to spend time with and kind of like attack an objective and use a little bit of teamwork but not have it be as like ball busting as Rainbow Six Siege because some people don't like that like in Rainbow Six Siege that's one of those games where you'll play and if you fuck up you're like you're gonna make your friends mad because they're gonna be like the fuck you doing you just lost us the game fuck stick but with this game it's much more relaxed but it's also challenging like you get to play uh co-op objectives which are challenging but also not incredibly uh tense and they're not incredibly uh i i i guess they're not incredibly rage inducing if you if you fail at it um and and that that combination i think is is exactly what the kind of people who are going to want to play this game are going to want if you're a casual person but you want something with a little bit more depth that you can enjoy with your friends and that you actually have to work together with, definitely your kind of game. If you're more of like a Rainbow Six Siege player and you've already got Battlefield 1 and you've already got GTA 5, you already got all these other games, I still think Ghost Recon is the kind of game you're going to want to play, but you're probably going to wait for it to go on sale, maybe like $20, $30. I, I, I would definitely say like if you're a hardcore gamer and you're not super invested in this game, $20, $30. Now, Rainbow Six Siege as like a... Uh, comparison rainbow six siege you should have bought right out of the fucking gate like rainbow six siege is a goddamn masterpiece and it's gonna be like game of the year for the next like five years it is it, it is as like fundamentally a masterpiece as like chess it is so good um that's just a game you have to have in your library ghost recon wildlands eh, not so much it's still a good game totally great um it's 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 definitely more worth purchasing than For Honor. For Honor is a great game, but For Honor is also very repetitive, more repetitive than this. Um, and while the gameplay for it is really, really fantastic, it's not going to keep your attention probably as long as Ghost Recon Wild as well. Oh God, sorry, it's early. Um, but yeah, uh, so I, I hope that makes sense. I mean, God, 
so much controversy for this game. So much. This is why I, I think um, if there's one thing that I've noticed as time has gone gone on, I actually don't like exclusive events. Unfortunately, I don't control which events are exclusive, but I, I don't like getting exclusive footage. I don't I don't like having exclusive events because I get put in these situations where you don't trust me. Um, and I've found that the best way for for my channel to grow is uh, when there's open beta events and stuff. In fact, I even get more viewership when that happens. If you ever watch Battlefield One, um, I I don't get very very many views or very uh, very much reception whenever there's like an exclusive event that I upload footage from. The the most viewership I get is when there's an open beta and everybody's online experiencing it together. So I wish that could have been the case for Ghost Recon Wildlands and hopefully that's something that Ubisoft starts doing more and more and more. Like there's no reason to not have those open betas. Those open betas are hugely successful for everyone I think. Ubisoft and me included, and it's a lot easier to, to voice my opinion and have everybody verify it instead of feeling like they're being manipulated, which you're not be. I'm telling you right now, I, I'm not I'm not that kind of person, but I understand that it's like impossible to trust me on that. Um, because everybody else is. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so that's it. Um, Ghost Recon. Definitely worth purchasing. Maybe not $60 unless you're a hardcore... Well, not hardcore. Unless you're super casual and just want a co-op game that you can enjoy with your friends. Which, let's be honest, there's actually not very many games out there like this game right now. Um, like, a lot of people are like, oh, it's cookie cutter and it, there's, it doesn't offer anything new. But at the same time, like, I can't think of very many, like, open world tactical co-op games that you can play like this. Like, yeah, there's Grand Theft Auto Five, but... That's more like spammy, and everybody's going to be throwing around those stupid little remote detonators at each other, and there's no, like, co-op or strategy. And Far Cry 3, there's only PvP. I, I can't think... I don't think there's any open-world co-op. There might be. I don't know. But if there is, it's it's definitely not like this. Um, so, I don't know. I think it's kind of funny where I agree with everybody. It, it does feel kind of cookie-cutter, but if it's cookie-cutter, it's the first cookie of its type like it might be a real simple cookie but it's not it's not a it's not just a copy paste cookie that's for sure like it definitely has a place in fact i have a feeling there's going to be other games that come out after this that are going to be copying this like ghost recon wildlands <laughs> um but yeah okay i'll see you guys next time let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i'm really happy this is finally out i feel like everybody agrees with me like, I really do. Like, I, I, I'm kind of happy about that because I got, like, a lot of shit. And then everybody was like, oh, yeah, hey, <laughs> game's not actually that bad. What do you know? It's crazy. Blue Drake wasn't lying. Um, but, yeah. Not a masterpiece, but definitely enjoyable. I'm interested to see what Ubisoft comes out with next. What is next? I don't even know. This is, like, the last game that I know of that Ubisoft was even, like, promoting. It was this, For Honor, and Ghost Recon. Or not Ghost Recon. Rainbow Six Siege. Um, so I don't know. I don't even know what their next game, next game is going to be. Okay. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye!